Okay, this is the reason why you don't leave your G-Shock unmonitored out in the uh, sun, uh, charging up, not on your wrist, unless you provide some cooling to the back of it. Because we've got 43.8 degrees Celsius on there. Now, this is not even full uh, summer sun. And once you get over 40 degrees, they warn you in the manuals for these that this is a bad temperature to be over. And, of course, you get to the real danger temperatures of uh, 60 degrees, you're in trouble. So if you get to the real danger temperature of 60 degrees, you're in trouble. Uh, so, you know, put it on the temperature uh, sensor when you've got it charging in the sun and preferentially charge it when it's on your wrist or over something that you can uh, cool the back of the watch with because if it's on your wrist, it's not going to go over much over 37 degrees. Sometimes it might be 38 depending on the ambient temperature. But yeah, do be aware of that because they warn you in that. And I say this because many might have bought these watches uh, necessarily, possibly on the grey market, and they won't have come with a booklet. And if you haven't bothered to read all the nitty-gritty in the booklet about that, you could be damaging your G-Shock uh, watch. All right.